Hey guys, welcome to class. We're going to start off with a drawing of a little chickadee and we're going to use all of the exact same uh, ways to start a drawing that we've been doing all year long. So uh, we're just going to have a regular pencil and our eraser. If you have a brush or something, that's fine. If you don't, just use a tissue, okay? If you don't have a tertillion at home, you can also use a um, Q-tip as well as tissue wrapped around your finger. This makes a wonderful tortillion. So let's get started. All right, guys, here is our picture of our little chickadee. And just like we've started all of our other drawings, we're gonna start off with some basic shapes. The largest shape that everything else is connected to is this large oval for his body. And I want you to notice that the oval isn't uh, perfectly flat, it's slanted. So I want to make sure that if you would like to draw a line in this angle, like we've done in many of our other drawings, start off with that line and then the oval is half on the top, half onto the bottom. <clears throat> and then you can jump to any of the other sections because they're all connected to this one. So we can come over here and here would be a nice little oval that we could do for the head. And then we're going to have triangles for the beak, a circle, for the eye, this triangle for the wing, and then this kind of rectangle uh, here at the end for his tail. So let's get started and draw the body and head of our bird. All right, so we're gonna start with our uh, diagonal line and it's gonna, you don't want it to go perfectly uh, horizontal. So we're gonna put us in a little diagonal line and we're going to make our oval half on top and half on the bottom. Now, holding your pencil farther away is actually going to help you to draw lightly. And you can go over it a couple of times until you've got something that you like. And then just get rid of any of the extra lines. We're going to come in and put in our head that overlaps into our oval. I mean, into the body. And then here it straightens out and under here it comes down along the bottom like this. So now this is the uh, basic body shape for our bird. We're going to come in and put in his uh, triangular wing here and then coming out from underneath the wing here is his tail nice and long. I'm doing mine very large just so you can see it all. We're also going to come in and put in the beak. I'm at a bad angle so let's just try that again. So one more triangle. You're going to come back halfway into the head in order to put his eye. Don't put the eye way up here. And the beak comes inside the head as well. So we're going to end up with something along these lines. This is our uh, body of our bird and we're going to put the stick that he is on in the picture frame and have his legs come forward, comes down just a tad. It's just two parallel lines. Uh, right here in the center is this knuckle that divides the back toe to the front two toes. So we're going to come in right in here, putting in a back toe like this and putting in those front two toes. You have one that's hidden and one that's longer and you can actually see the knuckle and it's going to come in in this way. Let me get rid of a few of these extra lines so that you can see the, uh, the width. I think that's a little large, so we're gonna make that a little smaller. Always make your changes first, and then come back in and um, do your racing. So there's a little bit of the foot on the other side showing here, so we're going to uh, put that part in, and it's just something along those lines. So this is gonna be the basic outline for our bird. So I would like for you guys to go try to put in your outline. 
We're also going to put in where the black and the white, some of these different little effects are in the bird. So right through here, there's a curved line and that's going to go about right in here. And then there's a little section. I'm turning the paper because it's easier for the right hand to move down along. And you're flinging back towards the back tip of the wing to put in all of these little strokes. That's just kind of telling you where everything is going to go. Along this line, you're going to have all of these little soft feathers. And then they get closer and closer and closer and closer. And then there's these little tiny feathers right here that is at the top of the wing. And they, they're going to go back in this direction. If these original lines uh, are you know, something you want to get rid of, then you can feel free to do that. It kind of helps you to see what your bird is actually going to look, look like a little bit better. To, um, sorry, to add that in. Here we go. Make that just a little bit. Now, we're going to separate the white part. Notice underneath the eye is in the black section, and it goes towards the back. So it's nice and round. Oops. Nice and round part here. Comes to the top of the beak. Um, through here. And then from the bottom of the beak, uh, which is this middle portion, you're going to come past the eye into what would be about where your original uh, circle was. So this is going to be the white section, and this is going to be the black section. But you'll notice that the black section is straight across here. So we're going to not follow this curve. We're going to come uh, straight across and up just a little bit. So this will be the black section of our chickadee. This is where I'd like to pause and let you uh, go get the outline of your drawing completed so that we can start doing all of our shading.